Well, good morning, everybody. Casey here from Fall Minton Outdoors, and I gotta tell you, man, I'm stoked. Uh, decided to take a bonsai trip from northern Michigan all the way down here to Ohio to go fish with a friend of ours, Captain John, with customized charters. Uh, he said the walleye bite was hot, and I doubt he's gonna disappoint. So uh, we're getting ready to head out. Follow us along, let's see how we do. All right, guys, see you soon. Trying to find suspended fish. The key is finding them up high, and those are the ones that are going to bite. So we're fishing over 40 foot of water. We're running our stuff back uh, anywhere from 90 to 40 to 90 feet back, which puts you down anywhere from 20 to like 17 to 15 foot of, uh, above the bottom there. The key is finding them suspended. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Good lid. First Wally on Lake Erie. Let's see what she looks like. It was a 10 pounder. Ash is putting it on the wall. It ain't. It ain't. 12 pounder. Casey's putting it on the wall. How's it feel? Feel pound? He did this, he how he wasn't jump all over the place, all excited. First walleye, Lake Erie, in the live well. Basically right now you want to stay in the stained water, but you don't want it too dirty. You want to be able to see your your, cap, your prop. Just, you know, if you get in that muddy... Hey, outside board, outside board. What's up? <laughs> don't rush through it, man. <laughs> Basically you're looking for stained water, but not too stained. So it's kind of... You just gotta follow that mud line, you know. Like yesterday, there was clear water. You get in clear water, those fish weren't, at, you know, they weren't active. They were down on the bottom. You get in that, that just a little bit of murky water, they'll, they'll rise up and they'll start feeding. There's a fish. Yeah. Yeah. Don't change nothing. Hey, you got middle, another board. Oh, what are we gonna do here? Put your camera down. Get it, John. Get it. Put your camera down. <laughs> Get it, John. Here, you you switch me. Oh, look at this. Here we go, a triple. Oh, this is a good one here, dude. This... Oh, God, he's thinking this is a good one, dude. Come on, boys. Oh, that's a big one, too. That one's good. How far out is yours, too? I don't know. Can't back up anymore. I got locked up. Ooh, that's a nice one there, dude. Yeah. This is a stud right here. I'm not kidding. This one's a slob. Somehow pulled back. Chaos into the happening. Oh my god. Just toss him on the floor. This ain't no walleye, dude. This ain't no walleye. <laughs> walleye. This is a good one. Yeah, boys. <laughs> Give me that. Let's go. Go. <laughs> dude. Triple head. It's a dandy, too. Damn, dude. Couple nice little toads. Dude. <laughs> oh. Couple toads on that. That safe spot. <laughs> you mean, hey, let's hold all three of them up.
two feet to go. All right. Let's get one, dude. What's that one on? That's it. Oh, it's kind of like the same pattern, but here, Dad, take that. Will you, man? Look at that. That's pretty ass. Yeah. Our leads right now are they're varying. Most of them are like 100, 100 back, 100 to anywhere from basically 40 to 100 feet back. That's putting us down 12 to 17 fish. Yep. Dude, I got a rod by hand. Come on, Dre. That, dude, that one got that one got to be like eight, like eight. Daddy had to bring the golden shade. I love how they're so like white. That's really on the surface, huh? That's a fish sandwich, that's boy. A, that's a flash in the pan right here. <laughs> that's when you cook on the boat. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're saying we stagger them anywhere from 100, 100 back, 40 back, and anywhere in between. So you're basically just trying to fish that upper part of the water column. Oh, my wife. You just got to let the fish tell you what, what's going on. Like, so, you know, later in the day, they might drop down. You might have to change the Another triple header, eh? Four-man limit, about three hours out here on Lake Erie.